tuning in, logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour, right here at Illuminati Radio. I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. My co-host is Brother Lamig Israel. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, so you'll be notified when we drop this juicy news. Hit that like button. It is very crucial that you hit that like button. In the description box below, there's a whole lot of goodies down there, so check that out. All right, let's go ahead and, um, a Boogie and his toilet ritual. You know what I'm saying? This is a confirmation that A Boogie done completed his doo-doo eating ritual. Because he just got out of trouble. Just got into trouble. And just getting out of trouble. Go ahead. Actually, he got in trouble. Haven't gotten out of trouble. And he's still getting into trouble. Mm-hmm. We got... MediaTakeoutNews.com. This is article headline. Rapper A Boogie sued for 100K for blowing up someone's toilet. For blowing up somebody's toilet. Now, you can go price checking on toilets. And you will not find a toilet that is 100K. I'm talking about a regular toilet. I'm not talking about a, 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 a little Wayne toilet. I'm talking about a regular toilet that's in a regular rental property. Go buy pricing it. You will get nowhere near 100K. So why did the news story say that he blew up, he's being sued for 100K for blowing up somebody's toilet? Well, this is symbolic to let you guys know that A, it's not really about a blown up toilet. It's really about him eating shit. Because let's keep it real. What comes out, what goes in the toilet? Either you piss in the toilet or you shit in the toilet. But go ahead, Brother Israel. Alrighty. Rapper A Boogie with the hoodie is being sued for allegedly blowing up someone's toilet. Media take out news has learned. Based on documents filed in you know, suit, the rapper put down a 15000 security deposit and agreed to pay 10000 each month to rent the home from Dr. Lawrence Carino and his wife, Carolyn. According to the couple suing the rapper, a boogie with the hoodie allegedly abandoned the leased property without proper notice in December 2018. To make matters worse, they say the rapper caused significant damages to their homes to the tune of over $250,000. So if he caused that much damage, why not sue for that much? That would be logically right. If if you, you know what I'm saying, if I got to pay for all these damages to the tune of 200 and something K, that's how much I'm suing you for, 200 and something K. Why am I going to sue you for 100 K when I got to come up with another 100 K out of my own pocket to mess up, to, to get fixed what you broke up? That don't make sense. So, go ahead. Continuing on, they accused a boogie with the hoodie of ruining the landscape, leaving the bedroom toilet, leaving the bathroom toilet clogged, cutting the carpet and replacing it with mismatch pieces, and leaving two abandoned vehicles on the property. The couple also says the rapper vacated the house and left doors unlocked and open, causing water to infiltrate the property. They say his reckless, abandoned, and neck and neglect. Neglect of the property resulted in extensive damages to their home and high-end interior finishes. A boogie with the hoodies respond to the allegations is pending. Of course it is, because he is nowhere to be heard of right now. Like, mm. Since that gun charge he was uh, charged with. Exactly, and you guys know what... And you guys so, know what happens when a rapper get caught with a gun charge. Valley of decision. He made the right decision to eat some shit. That's why they come out with this news story about a hundred thousand dollar toilet. 
because he because he because he ate a hundred thousand dollar shit sandwich. That's why. It was definitely hundred thousand dollars too. Yeah. Especially but, it, was, it was gold encrusted. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows they got the gold melted on. They got the sprinkles of the silver on it. You already know, you got, got a sapphire up in there, you got, well, you got onyx in there, you got all, you got the works. That was the best shit sandwich that he had in his entire life. He said, I got that shit on it. I got that shit on it. He said, people want to run down on me, but I eat that shit sandwich. <laughs> and I breathed in the face. They ran away from me. <laughs> But anyway, this is news. I want to thank y'all for tuning in. Like it on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Illuminati Radio. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. My co-host is Brother Lamig Israel. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop this juicy news. Hit that like button. It's a very crucial that you hit that like button. And in the description box below, there's a whole lot of goodies in there. So check that description box below. Also, if you want to join my exclusive Facebook Messenger group, you can do so by sending me a friend's request to my Facebook page, which is PSTR, Michael Smith on Facebook, and I'll add you to the group. <laughs>